quick revision video on electrophilic substitution. We'll start by looking at the mononitration of benzene. So there's the overall reaction. So benzene is reacting with nitric acid and effectively hydrogen is coming off the benzene ring and being substituted by an NO2 group from the nitric acid. And you can see we also make a water molecule. Another way to represent that reaction is like that. Now there's some conditions for this reaction. It needs to be carried out at between 50 and 55 degrees Celsius and we need to use concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid which is actually acting as a catalyst as you will see when we look at the mechanism next. Quick note about the temperature. If you use too high a temperature you get what's called polynitration and so you get multiple substitutions of nitro groups around the ring and the problem with that is they are explosive. So we'll look at the mechanism now. The first part of the mechanism is the formation of the electrophile. Remember this is electrophilic substitution. So a reminder of the definition, electron pair acceptor. So the first thing that happens is the two concentrated acids combine and form this important nitronium ion and that's our electrophile. So the benzene ring and the nitronium ion can interact. Remember this circle here represents the pi electrons, the delocalized electron cloud, and a pair of electrons from the cloud is attracted to the nitronium ion and it forms this intermediate substance where you have um, four electrons left in the pi electron cloud and they cover five of the carbon atoms in the ring. So we sort of draw this horseshoe effect and it's open where the substitution's taken place. And don't forget your positive charge. And then that stabilizes itself by a pair of electrons from the carbon hydrogen bond going back into the ring. So we represent it with that curly arrow there and the products look like that. So there's the nitrobenzene and we get an H plus ion produced as well. And then the final part of the mechanism is to regenerate the catalyst. So the H plus ion and the HSO4 minus ion combine and form sulfuric acid. So if we look at the monobromination of benzene now, very, very similar reaction. So the overall, it looks like that. There's the other representation of it. So you can see we've lost a hydrogen from the ring and it's been replaced by a bromine atom and we get an HBr um, as the other product. So if we look at the mechanism now, we've got a very similar thing going on to before. So the first step is to form the electrophile, the electron pair acceptor. Now you can see in that equation I'm using FeBr3. You could also use AlBr3 instead. So with FeBr3, it reacts with the bromine molecule and it forms a Br plus ion and an FeBr4 minus ion and the Br plus is going to be the electrophile. So if we bring the electrophile and the benzene together now, so same thing as before, a pair of electrons from the pi electron cloud or delocalized electron cloud is attracted to the electrophile. That gives us the intermediate and we lose a pair of electrons from the CH bond that goes back into the cloud and reforms the electron cloud and generates an H plus ion as well. And then the last thing is just to reform the catalyst. So we, the H plus ion combines with the FeBr4 minus ion and it forms HBr, which is the other product of the reaction, remember, and the FeBr3 is reformed. If it was AlBr3, we would just have, would still have Br plus there, but would have AlBr4 minus instead. Still have, this would be exactly the same and the only difference would be in the reforming of the catalyst. We'd have H plus plus AlBr4 minus gives HBr and AlBr3.